welcome to part two of my first time dipping and draping fabric in uh, Portland cement and lime is what I'm working with today. Hi, I'm Angel, by the way. Thanks for stopping by to my crazy outhouse project <laughs> out behind. Uh, that's my crazy head hut project. It's my crazy head right here. Um, crazy. I'm just creative. Anyway, um, don't look over there. There's things, things we shan't speak of. I did a video earlier. To, to, it was just a few hours ago, but it, on the internet land, through the miracles of internet, it may seem like a week or more ago. But I made a video starting off my first dips. Now I have gone through three little mini batches and all I'm going to do for the evening. So I thought I would follow up with what I learned so far in the spirit of sharing the feedback that I get through uh, just jumping in and trying stuff. One is that dipping and draping, not an ideal method for this kind of thing. Depending, like so many things, just kind of depends on your desired outcome, your goal. So for one of the things I want to do is cover a wall real quick before I plaster it, just to hide that it is made out of, or what it is made out of, potentially, um, to the outside world as to not alarm people. And in that case, this method would work really well because it's quick. Um, as far as structurally, I think I was just kind of wasted. It's kind of spinning my wheels. I think I would have been better off doing... Um, any number of other things, including just a straight plaster over lath, um, which is what I'm familiar with, or probably at least a decorative blanket or plastic layer, and then draping over that with a thicker slurry. I think I will need to um, do some stuff to this, uh, as in pla need to plaster is what I'm trying to say. But I may just continue to drape. It is an experiment after all. So anyway, let me know if you have any questions or input. Isn't that a pretty sunset? Uh, again, I'm Angel. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, check out the description. If you want to sign up for a workshop, get into this crazy head of mine a little bit um, with me and just try some stuff out. I have other projects that aren't quite as messy, although most of them do tend to be pretty messy. Um, so if you want to get your hands dirty, sign up for my newsletter and let me know. And if you want to support me in any other way, I do thank you. There are ways to do that in the description below, including I got music, books, other things for sale. So check it out. Thanks for stopping by. Ciao for now.